up, it's Boshiki Nine here once again, and once again, homie. And uh, today I got another pop to review for you, fools, eh? Today I got the homies, uh, Batman's uh, Hellbat Suit Way, which actually picked this baby up from a uh, Big Apple Collectibles, which is actually their own exclusive. And I actually picked this baby up for $14.99, and uh, was shipping, it came out to $18, homie. $18 was something cents, homie, depending on uh, where you at or whatever, the shipping cost varies or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, if you guys are interested in getting this baby, it's still available on the website, eh? And uh, yeah, man, the box came in super mint condition. Once again, a eh, uh, Big Apple Collectibles hasn't disappointed me with their shipping. Eh? They've done they, so far. They've done a great job with uh, shipping their pops to me. Way I don't know if anybody else had issues with them or at one point or whatever. But me, I just say nothing but good things about Big Apple Collectibles shipping. A eh? it's, it's, it's a one way. But uh, yeah, man, the box art is pretty much simple. This is actually the same box design as previous uh, Batman Pops, eh? Like the Red Hood and what was it? The STCC Raja Ghoul with the little Batman logo here and like the little shadow of Gotham buildings, I suppose. That's the side, that's the top, that's the bottom. So yeah, man, nice and simple little box design, which I don't mind it. It looks pretty dope. But uh, yeah, man, I'm actually glad that I finally arrived. Like, I've been waiting for this pop a for like over like a month. Way I seen everybody like getting theirs already, and I'm over here waiting for it. Like, come on, come on, big apple, you're lagging it, way. But uh, yeah, man, um, let me pop this baby open, eh, so we could scope them out, eh? Cause this fool looking dope, eh? I just. Uh, I have one little issue with this pop eight, but it ain't big, big of a, an issue eight, but I don't know. Ooh, that's right, homie. Look at this vato. Looking solid way. Oh no, never mind. Uh, the wings are the only issue I had with this foo is the wings, man. I wish the wings were like a little bit wider. When I looked at them in the like on a photo on the website, it looked like the wings were gonna be a little bit smaller. But actually they're they're pretty wide. And the length is pretty decent. I just wish there were a little bit. Nah, it's perfect how it is, man. I, I kind of, you know, I should have looked at the picture a little bit better, eh? But nah, man, the wingspan and the the length of the wing, they, they look perfect for this pop, eh? I know that can't make them too long or too wide because, you know, it's a pop, way. Eh? It's not going to fit in this damn box, eh? But, damn, look at this beauty, though, man. I wish they could have made a glow pop, eh? All that red glowing. Oh, it would look super sick, way, eh? But it's still a nice pop, eh? I love it. It has a bunch of little details. You can see that full Batman rocking the little six pack, way. Eh? That's right, eh? You see the little bat logo there. You got some shoulder pads right there with like little spikes. Little. Utility belt. I love this red and black, man. It goes re really well. The paint job on this one came out super smooth. Look at this beauty. Sick. It kind of has like the little glossy finish on the on the helmet, and there's the little wings. It would have been dope if you could move them, eh? But I'm asking for too much. Wait, relax. Nice and simple. Little boot action right there. Nice little detail on the boots. It's a nice beautiful pop, man. Hey man, for $14.99 man, it's a super dope pop, eh? And once again, if you guys are interested in uh, getting one of these, eh? Go to Big Apple Collectibles, eh? So, uh, yeah man, if you guys are familiar with uh, Batman's Hellbat Suit way, well, let me give you a quick little backstory of the Hellbat Suit way. Okay, so, Batman's Hellbat Suit first appearance was in Batman and Robin issue 33. It was written by Peter J. Thomas, and it was drawn by Patrick Gleason, way. If you guys don't know who Patrick Gleason is, tell me, oh, that fool's a Spider-Man and Venom covers right now are super hot, way. Go check out Amazing Spider-Man issue 55, way. It's simple, but it's dope. Oh, babe, those issues are actually going second print and go check out the Venom issue 33 and he's doing the Carnage one too the uh, what is it uh White Blood I think is the name of it but uh go check those out man by Patrick Gleason way they're simple but they look so, super dope babe. but uh yeah man I'm getting off topic right now eh? so pretty much um this Hellbat suit was actually designed by Bruce Wayne obviously homie he's the mastermind behind everything way but it was actually built and forged by the Justice League way it was like pretty much like a group project way and the reason why they helped Bruce Wayne build this is because um like Wonder Woman says in that issue way Batman is just flesh and bones way he doesn't have superpowers way but he's still a beast way he could still he could still take out the whole Justice League way even though he doesn't have powers 
A. So pretty much they helped him build this suit way so he could give him a fighting chance when he comes across like higher level threats or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, it's pretty much how the suit came to be way. And the suit itself way is super durable. It could actually go toe to toe with Dark Side way because uh, Batman during that story arc he pulls up to Apocalypse way. He goes to recover uh, Damien's body way because I forgot murdered way. So I was like, Charles, I'm getting my son back way. And he gets down with uh, Dark Side way. And you know what? Dark Side ain't no joke way. So he actually uh, took a couple hits from Dark Side way. But I don't think he could defeat Dark Side with that suit way. And the reason why I say he, I mean, if it didn't have this little glitch on the suit, but it's not just a little glitch way. I don't know why Batman hasn't fixed this glitch way, but there is a weakness to this suit way. There's like a big, major problem way. The problem is that while Batman is rocking the suit way, is draining his metabolism way. So the longer he wears the suit way, <laughs> he could practically the suit could practically kill him way if he wears it for too long. Eh? So I don't know why Batman didn't fix this way. Why he was you know building it with the whole league? Like I don't know. What's, what's going on with you, Batman? What's, what's going on? You know, you gotta stop spending time with Catwoman, way. You gotta, you know, focus, focus, way. So, Batman's Hellbat suit abilities, eh? Pretty much enhances uh, Batman's strength, durability, and speed. And actually has this, like, this cloaking device, way. But pretty much, like, the main thing on the suit, eh? Is actually his nano robotic cape, way. Where pretty much he could reshape it to anything he wants, way. Just with his thoughts, way. So, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it about this suit, eh? It has to be, like, one of uh, Batman's uh, strongest suit he has ever worn way but i still think the justice buster suit way is still stronger than this one a eh? because the justice buster you guys i haven't heard of that one a eh? it's pretty much like the um, version of um uh, freaking Iron Man's Hulk Buster way, but it's just a Justice Buster, and it's actually stronger than the Hulk Buster because the Hulk Buster is only meant to take down or to, like to contain the Hulk way. That Justice Buster is actually made to take down the whole Justice League way, which oh, I'm hoping they do like a pop of that one next way. I'm um, hopefully they keep doing more, more you know, more variations of Batman's uh, armor suits way into pops or whatever way. That'd be super dope way. But uh, yeah, man, it has to be like one of my favorite suits. I just like the design of it, but it ain't my favorite though way. My favorite uh, Batman uh, armor suit way, I'm gonna show them to you guys right now. Wait, it has to be this uh, Frank Miller goodness right here on me. This Batman Exo suit, which, oh, look at his beauty way. I love it way. If I ask the strap on me, he has the freaking little kryptonite bullets way, lock and loaded way. Even though this one still looks more menacing than this one way, like, if Batman pulls up on me rocking this one, I'll be like, damn, if we look sick, way. If Batman pulls up on me rocking this one, I'm, I'm, I'm taking off, way. But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, eh? If you guys enjoyed this quick little, uh, review, this quick little unboxing, eh? And if you're new to the channel, eh? Once again, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, Streak 89er out. Play. Yeah.